hi guys this is usman from a server mentor and in this video i'm gonna show you how you can create your windows rdp on aws for free amazon web services provides a lot of stuff without any price and it includes windows servers as well this is really useful for the developers who want to test their websites on live windows servers apart from the developers these windows virtual machines are also very useful for other stuff so without wasting much time let's get straight into the business and see how you can create a windows rdp for free on aws account first of all you need to sign into your aws account if you do not have an aws account you can check out my other video in which i have shown how to create your aws account for free so for this video i'm assuming that you already have an aws account and you can sign into it as well Click on this next button by putting your root email address, put your password here, you may or may not have multi-factor authentication enabled for your AWS account, if you have, you have to enter that MFA code. After entering the MFA code, click on the submit button. After logging into your AWS account, click on this EC2 button or you can also search EC2 here and click on this button to open the EC2 dashboard. Once EC2 dashboard is opened, click on this orange launch instance button and click on launch instance. Give a name to your Windows RDP. Click here for browse more AMIs. Type Windows here and hit enter. You will see that many Windows Server instances are enlisted here but we are only interested in that are entitled as free tier eligible. So we will go with the first one and click on the select button. Click on confirm changes button. Once your instance is started, scroll down a little bit and check if your instance type is already selected as free tier eligible. If not, you can select it by clicking on this drop down menu. Scroll down then and create a new key pair. Type the name of your key pair and click on create key pair. Scroll down a little bit, no need to change anything from this network settings but if you are a web developer and creating this RDP for testing your websites you need to check these two options. But for now we are good without these options so I am not gonna check these. Click on this launch instance button. You can see that your windows instance is created. You can click on this instance ID to show your windows server RDP in your EC2 dashboard. Here you can see that the instance state is in pending mode and status check is also initializing. After some time, when you click on this refresh button, you will see that instance state is changed to running mode, but status check is still initializing. This can take up to two or three minutes. So we have to wait for that. You can see that the status check is updated. So now just click on your Windows RDP machine and note down its IP address. To get the RDP connection file, click on this connect button and click on the RDP client. Scroll down a little bit and click on this download remote desktop file button. An RDP file for your Windows server will be downloaded into your computer. You can see that the username for your Windows RDP server is administrator and click on this get password button to get your password. 
Now to decrypt this password you need to upload your key file that we have already created in the previous section. Click on this browse button here and click on this spam file. This file will be uploaded to the server and click on the decrypt password button. Once clicked scroll down a little bit and you will see the password for your windows RDP machine. Now to connect to that windows server we need our windows RDP client click on the start menu and type RDP here and click on the remote desktop connection button. Now it is asking us for the computer name just click on this button under public DNS. Copy this and paste into the computer name section. Click on the show options menu and type the username as administrator. It doesn't matter that you type it in capital letters or small letters windows will take it as same. Check this allow me to save credentials button and click on connect. This will ask you the password for your administrator user. Copy this password here and paste it here. Click OK button. A security warning pop up will be opened in front of you. To avoid that pop up next time, just click on this don't ask me again check button and click on yes. After some time you will see that you are connected to your windows RDP. Wait for a few seconds to get it prepared. You can see that we have successfully logged in to our windows RDP click on this no network prompt. And you can read the specifications of your windows RDP it's running on windows server to 2019 having an AMD 64 processor with 1 GB of RAM. Now you can use this RDP for your purposes. Please remember Amazon provides you 750 hours per month up to one year for free to use this RDP. If you go beyond 750 hours per month you will be charged by Amazon. So please make sure that you remain under this 750 hours per month limit to avoid any charges. So this was it for this video guys. I hope that you have learned how you can create your RDP for free on AWS account. If you like this video please hit a like button and if you have any questions please do ask me in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel to get more such stuff. Until next time, goodbye.